And this next fight, we got a heavyweight fight. Justin Taffa taking on Austin Lane. It's a rematch from a fight that only lasted 30 seconds, ended due to an eye poke. And Justin Taffa, obviously, he's Australian, so he's going to have big support from the crowd. And they're going to be all hyped up, hoping that he gets the victory here. So when you look at the matchup between these two guys, obviously, I feel like both guys are not the greatest, but... Austin Lane, the first fight, it was only 30 seconds, but the only really meaningful offense from either fighter was Austin Lane landing two or three nice body kicks. So the kicks are something that Lane does possess. He's six foot six, and he can move around and throw those big body kicks, big head kicks, and try to snipe with the straight punches. But Tafa. He has that low center of gravity. He's going to be wanting to get on the inside, let his hooks go. And we've seen historically in Lane's career, he doesn't really take that power the best. But if Lane can keep it on the outside with his kicks or maybe land a big head kick or crazy cross, maybe he could get Tafa out of there. But I think Tafa is the more durable guy, the better striker overall. And Lane, he does have decent wrestling. Like I've seen him use wrestling against some low-level opponents get the victory, and I could see that potentially being a game plan for Lane here because I do think he has the better cardio, and if he could start to mix in a takedown or two, maybe he could get Tafa tired and then just win the fight. They're holding me against the cage the last seven minutes of the fight or something like that, but ultimately, I feel like Tafa, he's going to catch the knockout here in the first round. I think that it's a tougher fight for Lane even now because he's having to go to Australia. And I just think Tafa's going to get him out of there at some point. So give me Justin Tafa and I'll say he gets the first round knockout.